May the light always be with you. This is Metatron. Metatron, may the light always be with you. Thank you much for coming and thank you much for uh, the contact. So my, um, I guess the first question, how are the things up there? What's new? <clears throat> From this point of view, there are many things new and that is a daily scenario. However, the newness on your planet would be that the shift in the political world is changing the surface of your political uh, strategies, if, as it were. Mm -hmm. Many countries are changing their thought processes about the United States. Mm -hmm. And many people in the United States are changing their thought processes about the rest of the world. It is that the media has stirred something up, but not in an unlikely way, but in a way that says that there is going to be change. It could be good or it could be bad. They do not know, but they know that it will be a change. Uh, do you have any estimates on the, on the crisis? The crisis time frame has has been changed and it has been pushed out a little farther. The reason for this is <clears throat> there is need for less casualties and the cabal is holding up the financial part of the world very easily at this point. There was a struggle there for a little while, but they got back in control and they are now a little bit more at ease with the way things are running. Uh -huh. It will not continue forever, but it is stable at this time. <clears throat> uh, how, how much of the leadership is in, in the cabal? Is it, uh, do they have leaders? They do. And some of them are in politics and have political status. So therefore, those in the cabal that have political status are about 16%. This is actually a good deal of power. Thank you. Um, do you have uh, <clears throat> any insights into the changes in the plans for the first open contact? The plans for the first open contact will be discussed thoroughly at the upcoming political meeting with Girk Fickner and the other alliances on the 21st of December, which is not far from here. Mm -hmm. They are planning to have many speak about it, but more concisely than before. They do not feel they need to spend a lot of time on this subject Becomes, because it becomes an arbitrary subject to some political officers. They are going to speak, however, about the coming of age of your people to be introduced to the alien societies that are around the, your planet. But they will not speak of it as first contact they will speak of it as being ushered in as part of the neighborhood and see how they react to that. They would like then after that to discuss first contact, but first they want to discuss friendship and how the, the galactic people can be more friendly with earth people without breaking the prime directives. It's cryptic. I don't see how can they be friendly without breaking prime directives. There are ways, and they are being done now. Gurk Fichtnir is helping with weather and uh, uh, polar shifts and earthquakes, and this is not interfering with the prime directive because it's not interacting with the people. <coughs> However, there are other things that can be worked on 
that will not be directly a populist exposition. Any, any, do you have any insights about the timeline shift, uh, the changes, grand changes in the spiritual side of the... Of there the has been a timeline shift for a percentage of the population. And it was necessary because they were needed to be brought into the same timeline as those of their same nature meaning the ascension. There were some having ascensions on other timelines that were not nearly as ready as this one. And so their primary thought processes were switched. Now, your question is what? Uh, let me clarify first. Um, are we more advanced? Or is our timeline is more advanced than others? Yes. Okay. Uh, as uh, we shifted, uh, what is changing in the spiritual side of things uh, in terms of ascension? The things that are changing, I have mentioned that some people had changed timeline, which would give more light to this particular timeline. <clears throat> and therefore, spiritually, it would add to the the speed in which you reach your final destination, which is uh, your next step in evolution or your finality of the ascension for this portion, not that it ever stops, but it has given, been given this name for a particular reason because of universal prophecies. And so that is why it's been noted as this time as the ascension period. There are many things going to happen within this period other than just a rise in your evolution, but also a change in thought process on your entire planet. Right. So <clears throat> in terms of the jump, ascension jump how many generations would you estimate it would take i can tell you that it is within 170 to 190 years thank you and um, would there be a, a split between uh, populations so some population will make it and some population would not make it unfortunately that is true and it would not be the first time that this has happened in the galaxy or universe. You notice how many different kinds of gray species and reptilian species and uh, all kinds of other species there are because that has happened. Some species, when they move into their next phase, leave part of the population behind. And this part of the population moves in a different direction, usually. They do not seem to follow or try to follow those that have ascended in the first phase. They take their own angle because they are proud and they do not want to be seen as secondary. So they, they change their thought processes as to be a higher dimensional third dimension or fourth dimension, wherever they were left behind into. And those that have moved on move much more rapidly into the next set of ascensions. Yes. Um, how does the separation happen between the population, between parts of the population? How do Yes, they the ascension portion will separate people by their thought process. But not only by that, but be, by the telepathy that will be gained. You see that those that are telepathic will know the thoughts of those in the third dimension that are not telepathic, but yet, or not the thoughts, but the emotions. But those that are third dimensional and not part of the ascension at that point will not understand how they know these things. 
So from this will separate the population. And in other ways, it will separate it as well, because those that, have that will have ascended will start looking for a new home, a new way to survive without having to deal with the third dimensional peoples, because the third dimensional density will hold them back because Mother Earth also will take on a fourth dimensional aspect and has already he began that. So how would the, that separation between parts of population, how would it will look for us for, on the surface? Uh, say the families, would they be separated somehow or is it coming through generations? Would the population go down? It would, it would take some time, but there would be separation, yes. It would not be immediate, but it would start within the first few years. And within a, within a decade and a half, there would be 82% separation. How would it look for us? Like, say, people who are not light workers, what will happen to them? They will stay in third dimensional densities and work in the thought process that they actually are in a better place being there than those who have ascended. They will find fault with those who have a greater access to their psyche and will not want to join them. Right. It's a sort of prejudice that is unlike any other that you will, will have seen or will see on your planet. But physically, would they disappear from our view? Some of them will because some of them are already advanced at this point. Those that continue to move forward at a, at a very quick pace will disappear because they will not be, not that they will disappear, but they will be not visible to third dimension. All right, so how would it look to us? Like ghosts. Like, I have a friend, say Jim is advanced, right? So suppose Jim moves on to the higher dimension. How would he disappear from, he will become a ghost? He would not disappear necessarily, but he would become ghost-like. And that would be sort of frightening to third dimensional humans. That's another reason for the separation. They will call it the land of ghosts. Ah, so it will be space, different areas of the world become lands of ghosts? Yes. And uh, they would be spooky so people wouldn't go there? They would not be negative, but, but they would not be third dimensional. And so therefore, fear of the unknown would keep many away. Of course, there will be those that are not afraid of the unknown, and will venture there to study the effects and study this particular scientific event. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, uh, would, uh, would it be in our lifetime or is it later? I, 170 to 190 years. Oh, so it's not for us. It's, <clears throat> it's in the future. There will be a few. In, the, in your lifetime that will disappear and no one will know where they have gone, but they will have moved to the fourth dimension. And as they do, they can move into other communities. So other alien species will adopt them. Uh-huh. So people wouldn't die, they would just shift out. Correct. Uh-huh. Can they kind of oscillate, go back and forth? Like we are all, always going up and down in our vibration. So it is a technology move to move backwards. Uh -huh. you, they would have to learn that technology from other species uh -huh. who have it. There are those in fourth and fifth and sixth dimension that know how to move within the dimensions and come back, back to third. Mm -hmm. But it is only by technology and not by actual spiritual uh, changes. 
Uh-huh. Once a person has changed their spiritual pattern in their body, it remains that way for the rest of their lives. Oh, <clears throat> tell me more. It's very interesting. So how, would, how does it look? Well, if you were to move from third to fourth dimension, at, say, at a time within your lifespan, you would always be fourth dimensional from that point on. You do not move backwards, or you cannot move forwards until you reach that uh, era in which your body is ready to ascend into a new dimension, mm -hmm. which takes sometimes thousands of years, mm -hmm. as it has for your population. Uh -huh. Now, to move backwards to the third dimension, you would need technology. Okay. Because that is the only way to get back to a third dimensional realm and, and be safe. There is no natural way to move backwards. So how does it feel for the person to uh, get upgraded to the fourth density? There is a lighter feeling. It is a more, um, your density changes. Your molecular structure has been altered permanently. And that is why you cannot go back to the third dimension. It will seem lighter. You will be able to understand when you are adopted by other species that there are technologies that help you move through solid objects. But they are created so that you may move through them. Okay. You may not move through everything. Okay. You may move th through those structures that are created for this kind of movement. Yes. So uh, how long does it take the process of uh, upgrade, <clears throat> transformation? That is yet to be seen by your people. Every species is slightly different. Sometimes it takes a 24-hour period, as would be... Uh, in your timeline, 24 hours. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're using your timeline to explain this. Right. 24 hours for some species would be an apt amount of time for the change. However, there has been other species that have taken perhaps a week uh -huh, to uh -huh. change. Yes. So did, did we have those uh, transformations on Earth already? Did some people already transformed to the fourth density? There has been very few, but yes, there has been a couple, and not from necessarily this particular day and age. Mm -hmm. There has been some yogis yes. and some shaman and some of those that have been very close to other elements of the ascension that have risen and have not been seen after, after such a time. Those would be in between the third century and the, this century. Okay. Um, how does it feel for them? Do they, uh, are they consciously doing it or is it done for them? Do we need to participate? Actually, they, they were, let me put it this way. They were trying for this kind of change mm -hmm. as they were living through their density in this life yes. and when it finally happened it was a surprise because it was not a calculation mm -hmm. it could not be calculated exactly when this would happen okay. but when they reached a certain paradigm or a certain thought process that brought them to a new paradigm. Yes. And it actually s slowly brought them out of third dimension and into that paradigm. Yes. Um, as they moved, uh, were they adopted, adopted by uh, our species or? Not immediately, but yes. Let me explain. There are some that made this transformation and were not discovered by the aliens or other species or even angels for several days or months. 
<laughs> but once they were discovered, they were contacted and asked if they would want to join uh -huh. another social group. Uh huh. And what? And of course, being very alone in that particular space and in that particular density, uh -huh. they willingly joined and were much happier. Uh huh. So when you're alone, would you suffer from um, hunger or something? There, in the fourth dimension, there is less need for nourishment, but there is still need for that. When, they, when you transform to the fourth dimension, you'll see that on the earth, there are fourth dimensional things that you can consume. There are fourth dimensional trees, plants, and animals. Mm -hmm. So these you cannot see except for when you move to the fourth dimension. Yeah. Now, every single world has third, fourth, fifth, sixth, etc. dimensions on it, living within it. The earth has many different dimensions, just like the lower chakra has your seven different chakras yes. all included in the base. Do you yes. understand? Yes, absolutely, yes. Uh -huh. So the earth is like the base chakra. It includes all the others, all the other dimensions, although you do not live within them during this lifetime. Yes. Um, who is, uh, what are uh, four dimensional humans of the earth? Which are those? Who are the four? Fourth dimensional humans? Yeah, like what tribes are, what species are those? Ah, the, the species that are fourth dimensional are many that have come to Earth. No, no, on Earth, living on Earth. Well, Earth. there are some that are on Earth still that are fourth dimensional species from other worlds. Oh, so we have Pleiadians and Agarthans and Reptilians? Yes. Uh-huh, so... The, also, there are some Octorians, Syrians, and you can imagine how many different Andromedas there are. So there are Andromedans as well. There are Greys. Uh -huh. um, there is a lot of those that would consider themselves of the fourth dimension on your planet. They do not show themselves in the third dimension because it is not legal. But they are able to do so if they wish. Right. So if... Uh, At least most of these species are. If we were to uh, transform, say, 170 years from now, uh, which species would be likely to take us in, to adopt us? It depends on your DNA makeup. Yes. Once you transfer to a fourth dimensional being, they will look at your DNA makeup as, as you tr transform, and the, the greatest amount of DNA with that particular group will probably contact you first. Say if you had eight or 10% of Octorian, they would contact you first because you would be more apt to understand and follow their thought processes and, rather than if you had zero reptilian, they would not adopt you because you would not fit into their society. Okay. Uh, so on biological level, would it, the transformation be like Kundalini awakening? Yes. There is a continual awakening after the initial process. Like I said, it takes some time to get into the fourth dimension of 24 hour to a perhaps one week or 10 day period. And then a continuation of change happens for the next uh, um, probably six months because there are things to adapt to, things that the body may still hold in third dimension for a little while longer, but they're able to pass through into the dimension, such as, um, synapse and things of that nature may remain third dimensional, meaning that that energy in the brain can stay in a third dimensional thought process for a while. That is 
something that must uh, happen gradually. The energy fields of the body from the electromagnetic field in your world would have to adapt to a fourth dimensional electromagnetic relationship. Uh huh. So, uh, Kundalini awakening is a certain process where there is uh, spinal, in spinal cord, there is uh, much activation and uh, neural activity, and it feels like um, a uh, strong laser being pumped in in the spinal cord, and then the person feels like a whole whole body orgasm, spiritual orgasm, in Kundalini awakening. Uh, yeah, it is believed that that is sort of resembles the transformation into high density. Would it be right? Yes, I believe that even with some species, when they first transform into fourth dimensional beings, you can see that electricity, that energy moving through them as a third dimensional kind of thing. However, those kinds of electricity and synapse can move through to different dimensions without change until they are adapted. So you may be able to even see that in the person as they move into the fourth dimension in a third dimensional way. You understand. Okay. Okay. So you will, so whenever that person that has transformed into a fourth dimensional being, you may be able to see electrical charges where they are. Uh -huh. And that not anything else. Uh -huh. And some people see that even in the third dimension when they look at some species from the fourth dimension, they still can see their electromagnetic and charges of their energy even in third dimension because those things are interdimensional electricity uh, and uh, energy fields and things of that nature can correspond to all dimensions yes thank you um so our uh, transition would it be uh, collective yes it should be so it would be it the whole be not all at once but one right after another or several at a time, there will be a defining moment where things will change on your planet, a realization, a thought process that moves through the soul to every other soul. Do you understand that? No. Nope. Um, can you explain that? Yes. All souls are co connected. Do you understand yes. that? Okay. And when one person on your planet who is highly connected to other souls that are highly connected, they will bring those with them into the fourth dimensional shift. As they go, they will be the leaders and bring those people up with them. And just like a huge chain of, we'll call it Christmas lights, they will, one will be higher and bring the chain up and up and up, and many will be brought with them because they will activate the thought process that is ne necessary within them. Does that make sense to you? Yes, perfect sense, yes. Uh, what would happen one will start it. There will be one great one that will first do it and then bring many with him or her with them in the first, the first rise and that will continue for as much as six to eight months until all of them have come to the place and the rest will be left oh rest would be left unfortunately they are the ones that do not want to rise or are too third dimensional to conceive of how to do it so for the uh those who remain, uh, that would be an interesting period of half a year when people would just convert to ghosts, right? They will call this the rapture, but the rapture is 
seen in a different way in the Bible. But when this fourth dimensional shift comes, it will appear like people are disappearing from the earth. And this is what the rapture is, is like. And those that are left behind are said to be those that aren't worthy or ready. But it is not that they are not necessarily positive or good. It is that they do not understand the concept of this change and have not been a part of it to become part of it. Or does it require certain knowledge and understanding and belief to... Of course. It does require the understanding that the fourth dimensional energy in your brain is activated and then you must start using it to move to the next dimension because that is the next area for your arrival. Fourth dimension. So some people can decide at the last moment? Come, some will decide at the last moment, yes. Uh -huh. And decide that the fourth dimensional energy is worthwhile following. And God will be a part of that because he will help to influence how they move through this process. Uh-huh. Uh, so... If your family move and friends move, you might decide at the last moment, okay, I will go to something like that. Yes. Uh, will the pets move with the owners? The pets will be moving, yes, because some will be holding their pet when they are realizing that they are shifting. The pets will shift with them. So it is the owner who makes it happen right that is correct if they want their pets to come with them they connect to them in a fourth dimensional thought process so that they may understand that they want to come with the owner and the same with babies absolutely the child will want to go with its parents and at that point <coughs> the parent will be able to communicate to the child what is happening. Uh-huh. So what happens to DNA? DNA changes. Another, another strand of DNA appears mm -hmm. and is more or less a conduit of the change. Mm -hmm. and it helps to facilitate balance in the next world. <coughs> Would the sequence of the new strand be deduced from the first two strands? I did not hear you. Would the sequence of the new of the third strand be deduced from the sequence of the first two yes, strands? Yes, there will be. The first two strands will stay the same in many ways and respects. The third strand strand <coughs> will cause the change to be complete and add to these two strands or a, in addition to these two strands the thought processes and the information necessary to complete the transition <coughs> So the third strand would, would exist in a different dimension? Correct. Mm -hmm. But it will also transition the entire body. And what about its sequence? Would it come, where from would it come? The, you mean the DNA sequence within the third strand? Yes, AGCT sequence. It would come from a spiritual realm. Okay. Uh, does it already exist or it would be activated or it would have the to The shadow of your third strand is already there. Okay. The energy of it exists already and because sequence? you are transitioning even at this point since the beginning or, or since the end of 2012, the energy of the third strand is evident. And the sequence of it, is it already preformed or it will be developed? As it's being developed, but you may, f 
if you know how to detect it, it will be and can be detected. All right. <clears throat> what happens to the water in the body? What happens to what? Uh, the water molecules in the body. Oh, very easily. They become less, they are, they stay the same, but the density of them changes. They are still together, but slightly separated. And there is a, there is a vacuum between that se separation as not to change how they are formed. The electromagnetic portion of this remains exactly the same. Uh -huh. Okay. So will the telepathy be developed before the transition? Yes, in some peoples. Uh-huh. Your planet will change when telepathy becomes common. That will not take 170 to 190 years. That will happen within the next 120 years. It will take a little longer for the density to change. But telepathy will be there before the density change. Okay. Uh, is anything Since these new people have transitioned from other timelines, it has changed how quickly these things will happen. And now it will happen faster than it would have before. Mm -hmm. um, what should we be expecting in our lifetimes, like next 30 years? Anything you interesting? should expect to see some evidences of thought process change. You should be able to see that there are some that will be very enlightened and that there will be some that will change the world with their thought processes in a spiritual way as well as an intellectual way. Uh huh. So there is um, there are people who visit the fourth dimension, uh, visit the ships of the extraterrestrials. Yes. Uh, so third dimension people that visit the ships, they don't go through transformation. How is it possible? No, they set up third dimensional areas on their ships for them to come to. Then as they come, just as in the colonies, well, but that is an astral. They go in astral, but they still arrive in the third dimensional astral and then go through a change to the fourth dimensional astral. But whenever you go to a ship or visit any other species in the fourth dimension, there will be a third dimensional area set up. And if they are able to put on you a fourth dimensional identity, they will do so for temporarily. You can live in the fourth dimensional for up to 34 days without dissipating. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's about the right time. Uh, yeah, that's what we hear the reports that people um, stay there for a few weeks, right? Um, one person, he said he, he grew up there, but uh, I think he was visiting back and forth, so he didn't stay all the time there. If he was born into fourth dimension, he could not live fully in the third. If he was born to the third dimension, he could not live fully to the fourth. If he says he can live in both dimensions, that is not true. No, he just said that he grew up in the, he was born here, but he was taken frequently. Ah, that makes sense. Must be Zachariah. Exactly right. So, that's about it for the public public part. I you don't you don't mind if I publish it, right? No, of course not. Thank you. This so, information might be helpful to some. I've given myself a signal, so when I come to this point, 